two new features in Aspire. Uh, things I want to show you about now. So first of all I want to tell you about the exhaust that we now account for the exhaust. You'll see on the front of the general page for the detector there's now room to enter a uh, length of the exhaust and the diameter of the exhaust pipe. And then it'll then calculate the pressure yeah, drop that to cause force across that exhaust. So this actually can become quite an appreciable effect. Um, so for example, let's just enter in something like um, just even a four meter pipe, standard diameter, calculate that. We'll get 59 Pascal. But if we were to increase to say maximum speed for our detector, run the same calculation again, you see we're getting a 274 Pascal pressure drop there. When we compare that with our different pipes, you can see that it's becoming reasonably equivalent to the pressure drop in those pipes. So it really is a very significant um, thing that needs to be taken into account. So again, uh, if we change this to um, change it back to two meters, um, and you'll notice when we do that, of course, that invalidates our design, so we have to recalculate it. But we can go back to two meters. Um, we've still got 157 Pascal drop, so this really is a very significant effect for um, detectors when they're at maximum aspirator speed, and even a lot of other situations, it's still something that needs to be considered. One thing I wanted to just to point out is we now have our EN5420 limit brought forward to the front page here, so we can either um, change it here. <coughs> so we can change it to say class B. Um, we won't worry about the items going red for the moment, just have a look here and we'll see it's come to class B here. But the other thing to recognise is it also changes the transport time and it actually locks the transport time. Once you have a class B or class A or class C setting, transport time is defined <coughs> by that and therefore you can't edit that. You can switch this off, you can go to essentially no N5420 limit, in which case of course your transport time can be edited up to the limit for that detector. So we could make this say 100 here quite happily then. Um, and you also notice while I'm talking about that, that when we do set um, a different class A, B, C, the transport time is also shown here as well, so you can actually get that feedback here as you're changing it. So if you're changing the class EN5420 classification on this page, you can see the effect on your transport time. Just set it back to class C again. <coughs> One other thing I wanted to show you is we actually now list the whole sizes that are used uh, within the project and allow you to add and remove whole sizes. So for example if we want to we could add a 6.5 whole size here <coughs> and you'll see that now if we go to um, say this one here that a 6.5 actually occurs there. Uh, similarly so let's add a 3, well, we've got, let's add a 5.5 hole here. So to do that I can just do 5.5 it'll prompt me to say it's not a standard high, whole size. Yes we do want to add it so we'll click yes. If I go back to project we'll see that uh, 5.5 is there. Now we can do other things. We can actually remove whole sizes. So we, might, so we don't want people to use that whole size and we can remove it. But if we try to remove, um, say just our 5.5 we just added, so we wanted to add, remove 5.5 and 6. Um, since we go to move away from that field, it'll say no, no, 5.5 is being used and it'll bring it back. So this gives you an overview but also a way of removing whole sizes you no longer uh, need as well, as long as they're not being used. So there's two <coughs> useful features that are now in Aspire.